Hi guys and welcome to the first part for Defiance. It's a, a basically a game based off a TV series that isn't even started yet, um, but for one it's actually quite a good game based on like a TV or film or whatever. Um, it's actually really really good, I tried out the beta on the Xbox, uh, beta 3 I think it was, I was really really impressed with the game. So now I'm trying this on PC, uh, where we can create a whole new character and start again. Uh, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, the game is actually pretty fun. Uh, so it's like an open world, other, play other players can join you. Uh, you have like, open events and stuff. Um, this is the most interesting intro screen, but it obviously we've got to start a new character, which we will do now. It causes a bit of chaos. Obviously, the loading screens may take a little while. Uh, the servers have just sort of come up, and the game's just becoming active. So fingers crossed, everything does work, because I will be a little bit nervous. <laughs> yeah. Some people have been asking me to play this um, as like a sort of let's play walkthrough thing. I purely base on how long it is. Based off your feedback, if you guys want to see more, I will keep doing more. If you guys want to see any more, I will stop it. I don't mind, I play it by myself, <laughs> alone. Uh, but yeah, if you guys see me about walking around the world, come and say hi in the Defiance world. Say hi. I'm running in, in the Europe servers. What the hell was that? It was a ship. Listen up, people! We just passed the Golden Gate. We'll be on site in less than 20. So you got 10 to secure the rest of that gear and get yourself strapped in for a landing. Repeat! 10 minutes until lockdown, people! That's an unacceptable response. Must I remind you who I am? What the hell is this? I don't care what your protocol is. You're here to help me. So that's what I want you to You're do. You're dismissed, Private. What's the problem, Von Bach? You better get your men in line, Captain Grant. I want my equipment out of storage. My Ark Hunters and I depart as soon as we land. The Earth Republic is in a limousine service. Your gear's locked up and we don't have time to dig it out. Now please, find your seat. No offense, Captain, but I think your orders were to do as I ask. My orders come from my superiors. People in Manhattan wearing uniforms, like this. And those orders are to keep you safe while you locate your alleged Arctech. Alleged Arctech? There is no alleged, Captain. Do you see this? With this Arc core and the rest of the technology that I'll find in the Bay Area, I will repair this world. And be its hero, of course. You're in a restricted area. Get to your seat. If anything happens to my gear, I'll send the bill to your superiors. What an asshole. Let's move, people! Time's ticking! What is this, a dorm room? Everyone, get to your seats! You two, let's go! No problem, Cap. You two. <gasps> Me? So this is where we create a character. So those two characters you saw towards the end were based off uh, guys actually in the actual program, which is really cool. Some uh, you may see that that woman's face and the bloke before. I think the guy's acted in some films before. I can't actually recognize. I recognize him, but I don't at the same time. So I'm a little bit confused. But yes, so there's four different classes. The only thing I've noticed a bit between the classes is they got they got different guns basically. So he's got like a massive machine gun. He's got like a sort of shotgunny thing. Um, he's got a sniper, and they've got like a normal sort of, I don't know, just like a machine gun, whatever. Um, so yeah, you can pick between this and you pick between different races. They look very similar to like avatars in the Avatar film. They look very similar to that, like the weird sort of long nose, wide nose thing. So that's pretty cool. Um, I would, I think the character I really would be if I was picking him for myself, would be like a, a female outlaw. She looks pretty hot. You can customize her as much as possible as well. She's pretty cool. So if you want to go for a a male, uh, 
I'm really tempted to go for a sniper guy, even though it's sort of not a very good choice at the same time. Um, I'm going to go for the sniper dude. <laughs> yes. So this is like a basic change. You can actually customise it a lot more, which is what we will do in a second, I think. I'd press the wrong button. Press randomise for some random reason. So that's the female lils look pretty, pretty nice. Get the female, female as well. The female gender. Just changes a basic shape. He looks really angry now, doesn't he? I'm a little bit pissed off. I'll go for that, dude. So let's continue. So we're like a survivalist. Uh, bone structure, which is like the basic. How big is your chin? How big is your jaw? Sort of thing. I mean, it's not like it's not like an amazing customization, but it's quite nice. It's not. Oh, that's a big nose. Nosy man. Big upper lips. You want a kiss? Looks pretty skin color as well. Uh, let's go for like a medium tone. Eye shape. Mm, I'm intrigued. What are you looking at? Eye color. I can't even see his eye color. Can you zoom in anymore? Nope. Eyebrows. Let's give him some nice bushy. He looks really concerned there, doesn't he? Let's go to the hair. This is the thing that probably stands out quite a bit, I guess. Initial thoughts is the graphics on the on the PC do look a lot better, even from just the intros. I don't like some. Do not like the hairs in this. Um, is there any way of turning them around? That'll be okay. Sweet. I guess that's probably not too bad. Looks weirdly really similar to my hair in real life. And that does. That looks like Justin Bieber. So we're not gonna go for that one. Let's go for like a darky brown, I guess. Yeah, do that. Facial hair. Ooh. Let's go for a bit of, bit of stubble. Yeah, he looks like a badass. What's this? Oh, he can have tattoos and stuff on his face. That's quite cool. I'm not sure about his hair colour. It looks a bit off. That's a bit better. So you can use quite a bit of ooh, tattoos on his face. The worst idea ever. Don't get drunk and have a tattoo, it's the worst idea. That looks like a Mike Tyson. <laughs> um, what the hell was that? Oh my god. I'm going to leave it with no tattoos. I may do some cuts though. Oh god, no, not that one. Uh, let's go for the massive scar on his face. Ah! I can do that face paint. Oh my god. I'm not keen on any of these ones. Oh my god, it's like a goth. That one doesn't look too bad. I'm going to leave it as that for now. I'm so bad at names, I'm going to call it my game channel, so if you guys see me about, you know who I am. Game Riot. I would like to confirm this. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Now, Arkunner. Hold on, Captain. That one isn't wearing your beloved uniform. They don't take orders from you. Sorry about that, friend. We land in ten! Strap in! I never got to brief you on your ego implant, so we really need to... What the hell? Sir, they need you on the bridge! I think I will actually get to my seat. When we land, don't go anywhere. The ego activation can be a bit jarring without a proper briefing. Relax. It's just a little turbulence. Completely normal. No, it's not. We're all gonna die. She's actually quite charming once you get to know her. Alert. Hold integrity compromised. Initiating evacuation Hold on. sequence. We're Alert. going down. Hold integrity compromised. Evacuation pod launch in three, two.
Brace yourself, Cass. This could be real bad. Okay. Uh, which one of these dealies opens this bitch? Ah, uh, nice. Holy stucko! You're alive! Name's Cass Dukar. I saw you land. Well, maybe that's not the right word. It was more smashing into the ground than landing. I sort of expected you to be a bowl of soup in there. Um, what are you doing? Doing, 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 doing? Whoa, are you okay? Do you need help? 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 Can you hear me? You need to sit down. Here, sit down before you pass out. I'm sure you took more than a bump to the head, so rest. Get your feet under you. I'm gonna go see if anyone else needs help. Oh, you might want to arm yourself a bit more. The locals aren't known for their charm. Hello. Oh, good. You can hear me now. I can sense your nervousness, but don't fret. I'm the Environmental Guardian online device that was injected into your body. You can just call me Ego. Please forgive me. I'm having some trouble getting all the behaviors activated, so we might experience a few hitches at the beginning. But I'll sort it out. We have lots to go over, so we should start. Right, so we're in the game now. So uh, bear with me while I get used to the PC controls, because they are a little bit different to the Xbox, obviously, for obvious reasons. Or we'll interact. Need to find Mr. Von Bach, but first, we'll need to gear up. So this is, she's like the ego system, which is basically like a um, sort of central nervous system, a device in your body and brain <laughs> that sort of uh, gives you missions and stuff. So you have like different ones here. Oh, map. Crash site. Okay. So let's keep going now. So you can see the little mutants down there. The whole, oh, that's a bit annoying. I need to change that. I'm sure you can. Hold to interact, and we've got to open up the equipment crate. I think Excellent. this should give us the shield. That, it will allow me to the shield. So this is the loadout. So you can change different weapons, vehicles, all your perks and powers. Uh, yeah. How do I equip it? The shields are running. Okay, now it's running. I think. We're Sweet. Going to need another weapon option. I'm picking up a signal from a crashed mobile armory. Moving Let's forward. hurry. We need to collect the necessary equipment as soon as possible so we can start looking for Mr. Von Bach. According to my readings, those creatures are actually humans. However, their DNA is severely mutated. Oh, it's a friend. This is like another character that's obviously joined. Looking very sexy female character as well. Slightly jealous. Yeah, compare this to the Xbox gameplay I've got, it's it's a pretty big jump. Definitely get this on PC if you can. I mean, my PC isn't that great at all. Um, well, the CPU is pretty good, but the graphics card is pretty bad. It seems to be running quite well, so... so taking out a few little mutants. So these are like human guys, but um, it's all destroyed by this weird sort of virus thing. Uh, and we're like an arc hunter, there's like loads of look like car hunters, so that's basically if you create a character, you are arc hunter. Um, I think the two people in the series are like arc, arc hunters. I've said that like five times in like a few sentences. Fresh. Thank you. I think they do eventually give you like resources and stuff, and um, XP as well. Oh, hello. He went flying. I think there's another weapon over here. Right, can we open this? Oh, to interact and get the weapon. Nothing beats the accuracy and range of a sniper rifle. One well-aimed shot could mean the end of an enemy. I will take that, please. 
we well, double click pretty much all the press. Particular weapon types work we better for specific situations, so you'll want to get used to switching back and forth between the primary and secondary weapons. I'm detecting some explosives nearby. We could definitely Ooh. use those. I've put the location on the map. So I've got a sniper out now, which I can imagine being pretty good, but... I don't know, let's have a quick look at the, um, the settings. How do I get the settings? I'll look into it in a minute. I'm going to see if we can like, toggle between aiming. Because that's going to get quite annoying. <laughs> to hold it down. Oh, nice. Sweet. So you can never press the lift shift to help move around as well. I'm being shot at, little bastards. The sniper's pretty good already. One shot kill. For the win! See, I'll be that the guy that probably still holds back. Doesn't go in the middle of fights, which is which isn't too bad. I guess it's not the most exciting thing to watch. What's that over there? I saw something. Obviously, the hunters are very useful. The little mit, sort of menu map thing in the top right shows us where the enemies are. I suppose we're going to go and find the grenades now, which is obviously the other equipment we can, we can have. Welcome, being watched. Uh, little purple dots on the map, by the way, are friends, other arc hunters in the game. Moving forward. Mutant Rifleman. Right, let's get some grenades from here and equip them again. I think the L for low that's a bit weird. But Grab one and equip it. I will equip it. I swear I equipped it already. I think you already know how this works. Pull the pin, throw, and get out of there. Well, how do I actually throw them though? I'll just do it literally. Okay, that's not too bad. I see some red dots very close by, so I might go and investigate. Only three bullets, a bit useless, but whatever. I will take everything I can get. From my projection. We need to calibrate some behaviors before moving on. I think I'm not saying in there, but clearly not. Alright, let's activate the next mission. Now that we're geared up, it's time to train you on the ego powers. Right, this is basic training. This is, um, ego Where's special powers. What's that? When using cloak, you are completely <sighs> invisible to enemies. Use the power to sneak up behind the projections and attack. How do I do like a melee attack? Uh oh. it. Cloak must be activated oh. to sneak behind the projections and attack. <clears throat> yeah, just literally sneak up behind him and just shoot him in the face. Oh yeah. Now we'll test the overcharge power. While using overcharge, your damage inflicted on the enemy is significantly increased. Shoot the projection while overcharge is activated. Okay, overcharge activated. Basically, does us more damage. I'll enable nice. the decoy power now. Decoy allows us to create a projection in your likeness that will fool and distract the enemy. Take down the projections while they're distracted by your decoy. <clears throat> Watch my decoy! Look! Going past you! Oh, in your face! In your face! So yeah, the decoy's just like completely for them. They're so confused. The blur power is now enabled. Blur will allow us to move at extreme speeds and increases melee strength during close combat. <laughs> Let's do the melee attack, just press F. Smack him! You must activate the blur power and blur. Oh yeah. Attack. Good work. You'll need to choose an ego power for me to integrate. Right, so we want to pick one that we can pick. I think we can pick between, obviously, the decoy, the overcharge, uh, or the the cloak. So we're going to go for the uh, overcharge. I think is the best one for the um, for the sniper guy because it gives him like a nice overcharge to the choice. weapon. I like it. Can we pick any other upgrades? Good. Probably not. No, I mean, sure that. I'm, I'm in the menus. I'll patch it through. <laughs> hear me. I need help down here. It looks like the mutants are getting organized for an attack. 
no, we better help her. Alright, let's get the sniper rifle out. I'm ready to go. So you see a quick chat, quick menu, quick chat as well. So many white, red dots behind me. Nice. I really like this sniper so far. Pretty badass. Best if you like a million miles away. They have no clue. Oh, look at the suspicious little fool. I can zoom in more. Don't get in, uh, Probably can, eventually. Let's open this baby up. What are you looking at? I think my guy, my guy looks pretty badass, to be honest. I'm fairly happy with him. Whoa, explosions everywhere. Oh yeah, take out the watchtowers. I'm sure his arm, but perhaps not. Ripped his arm straight off. Who's following me? What the fuck is that? It's like a massive spider. I hate spiders. See, I'm, really, I'm actually really looking forward to the actual TV series of this game. It looks like it might have some potential. Oh. It's a character we've seen already, isn't it? Is it Case or something? Oh, Whoa! Face. Trying to snipe her from afar and see if I can see anyone. There's some people behind that truck. Or mutants behind the truck, even. What's all this stuff? Looks technical. I keep finding these trucks. They look quite, they're quite all, well organised for mutants. Overcharged kill. No. Right, self. Let's help her out now. It's just over here. We need to shut these dudes down. If we don't, you can forget about finding any survivors. <sighs> Perhaps we should change the weapon. So please do come in. That's actually pretty. Tricky at first. I have the ability to hack into most computer systems. Get to that thorium reactor and I'll see what I can do. Let's get close to this thing. Try and hack into it. Stop throwing stuff at me. Is it, is it happening? I'll have to press something. I've got to interact with it. Okay. Ignore me. Man, ah, there's, there's so many of these dudes about already. I've only just started playing the game. Excellent. There we go. I was able to reactivate the fissile material. The reactor will overload and blow this entire base off the map. Seems to cover a bit more here. I'm gonna the die, and that's quite embarrassing. What did you do to that thing? It looks like it's going to explode. No, no, that's not good. Sniper is pretty pointless close up. Pistol for the win! And this overcharge really kicked my ass. If I could actually aim at them, I got 10 hours to reload. Back off! Push him back. So many of these dudes coming at me. That thing's about to blow. Let's get out of here. Whoa, Jesus. <laughs> Literally just flew like a like a spider.
Thanks. You have an ego implant, don't you? That's amazing. First time I've ever seen one in action. You know, I think we're gonna make one hell of a team. A little backup can take you a long way in this crazy place. I'm heading to the crash site. They're gonna need help. I'm sure we'll be in contact. Arc Hunter. She seemed pretty impressed with my abilities, didn't she? Oh my gosh, loads of these dudes. Hello and welcome to the game. Sweet. Right, let's accept this ability, I guess. If we can get anyone nearer. My, oh my God, this is crazy. Where upgrades have become available, you may now spend an ego unit. That's uh, that. Thank you. Find out if Mr. Von Bach survived. I'm picking up signals from a couple nearby evac seats. Fingers crossed that one of them belongs to Mr. Von Bach. Hmm, interesting thing. Okay. So we're trying to find that head guy that we saw right at the start. That guy in the uh, the glasses that's being like a right ass. Yeah, but the, the girls seem pretty impressed by my abilities and my actions. I'm pretty happy with that. Who's shooting at me? Bastards. Okay, I didn't do much damage. Man, these guys seem a bit stronger than before. How many look at them little purple dots? That is mental. People are up for this game. Sweet. This evac seat is empty. Oh, I hope God. whoever was in there is still alive somewhere. I'm experiencing a lot of interference. Get to an open area so I can scan the valley. This gun scan the valley. Look at him charging off. What about the ship on actually? He turn use that a bit more. Shift to run. And kick some ass. Oh, Jesus, what the hell? Whoa! <laughs> Fair enough. We're really lucky to be alive. The crash is horrifying. It does seem quite bad. Oh, get one of these already? Please let me on. Please let me on. No, I can't get on yet. This one. I can. Ah. Oh. We have to do a story mission first to get on there. What's going on down there? That's oh, another evac thing. Ouch! I almost broke my legs. Ouch! Uh, this is ego upgrade available. That could be interesting. Um. So what? We can buy another power for one of these. Okay, that seems quite cool. On a melee kill, recharge part of your shield. Okay, that's quite nice. Uh, you move faster three seconds after your shield fully recharges. Hmm. Reviving another player recharges your self revive. Uh, DNA damage recharges your ego power. I might do that one actually. Can we do that? Let's purchase. I want to purchase. Thank you. Bloodlust. Can we buy any more? Is that it? That's it. Let's make a move, let's keep going. Earn your first perk. I want that car so badly. Let me get in! Oh no, this person didn't make it out alive. I'm detecting a fading ego signal, which means this must have been a fellow Ark Hunter. I'm receiving several Von Bach industry signals. One of them has to be him. Let's hurry and check them out. Let's hurry, let's do this. So we're going to start investigating some of these, uh, these signals. Let's see if we can find anything. So well, they're all about 200 meters away, so they're quite far away, but... Whatever. New Freedom Crash Site. So basically that's the ship we was on. It's crash landed and we've got to go investigate some of the crashes. This expedition is in serious jeopardy if we fail to find Mr. Von Bach. He's the only one with the knowledge to unlock the secrets of the Art Corps. It does sound quite important. It's, I love when you see these sort of games and you see the amount of players all doing exactly the same thing as you and you're sort of exploring. It is is pretty cool to see. It's definitely getting an audience this game. Oh no, it's a dead body. The scanner, but this is definitely a dead body. My DNA scan says this is not Mr. Von Bach, but VBI employee number 130. That's not good. She was extremely important to this expedition. But this is not Von Bach. It sounds like a German, doesn't he? 
this is the head of the security team. <clears throat> if he didn't make it, then what hope does Mr. Von Bach have? It's all dependent on luck, I think. This is a deceased Von Bach Industries technician. I have missed. <laughs> we may have lost everyone. So the technician dude. See a few red dots to our left. Scan the body. Scan the body. Right, we've done all the scanning. This is a tragedy. I'm estimating the death count to be at least 300. Whether Mr. Von Bach is alive or dead, he doesn't appear to be near the crash site. Oh, nice. I think we're going to need some assistance in finding him. I'm receiving an SOS from Captain Grant now. I'll patch it through. Repeat. All unarmed and injured survivors, get to cover and stay put. We will find you. All combat capable survivors, report to the emergency HQ at the new Freedom Rally Point. ASAP. Hey, Ark Hunter. Did you get that e rep message? Meet me at the rally point. So, I'm going to to another. So, yes, yeah, so got another objective to go to. Which seems to be over here. I'm hoping we get a quad bike soon. It does a uh, speed up travel quite a bit. Yeah, I think we might get it here. I'm getting absolutely shot at from somewhere. <laughs> I think it might be my friend the units though. I want to know why E Rep's here. Let's find the man in charge. Let's find the man in Repeat. charge. The new freedom has gone down. Heavy casualties suffered. Does anyone copy? Captain Grant, sir. The terraforming interference keep is. Keep trying, Corporal. You keep talking to that thing until your voice gives out. Do you understand? Sir. I recognize you. You're one of Von Bach's archives. But who are you? And what are you doing in my base of operations? Name's Cass. I'm... Wait. Did you just say Von Bach? As in Von Bach Industries? The dude they call Death's Merchant? What exactly is going on That's here? It's none of your concern, this. Sir, we have at least 200 confirmed dead, and nearly twice that injured. With no chance of evac, we don't have nearly enough medical personnel or supplies, sir. Recon spotted a rundown medical center nearby. Send one of your men to shake it down for supplies. Yes, sir. Sir, hostiles on the ridge are sniping the rescue team. Unless they can get into the strato in the next 35 minutes. Sir, survivors on decks four through seven will likely burn alive. That will not happen, Sergeant. Pull everyone back, but you tell those men trapped on the strato that we will get them out. Yes, sir. Hey, Eisenhower. Those snipers used to be EMC. Just a bunch of bloodthirsty mutants now. You're telling me that those things are Earth Military Coalition soldiers? Yep. Apparently they didn't get the memo when that gig fell apart all those years ago. They think you're invading. How do you know all this? There's a lot of old EMC junk around here. The least of which is Project... Yeah. Project Tranquility. I know all about it. Humans and Votans living in perfect harmony. What a bunch of stucco. Tranquility wasn't a combat operation. The mutants wouldn't have access to firepower capable of taking down a strato carrier. Nope. You're on your own with that mystery. You. Listen. No matter how much it pisses me off, protecting your arrogant boss is critical to this mission. If you help me bring some sanity to this mess, we can work together to find him. All right, then. I need to get my rescue team into New Freedom immediately, so take care of those snipers. Where do you think you're going, miss? You're gonna tell me everything you know about this restricted area that you've been wandering around illegally. Screw you, e rep Sweet, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode so far. Make sure you do press that like button, subscribe, favorite, and comment below. I'll be leave, I'll leave a little link below to the game so you can check it out, check out some videos and other stuff. Uh, but I will continue this walkthrough. If you guys want to see some more of it, let me know in the comments. Uh, yeah, don't forget to like because it helps me out a lot. Bye bye.